hello welcome to my channel today's recipe will be making this delicious crispy breaded chicken and i can't wait for you guys to try it let's get started this particular recipe i have two boneless chicken breasts i'm going to butterfly them and this is to ensure that they get crispy and also cook really well Can totally skip this step if your breasts are even but i went ahead to pound my chicken breasts to even thickness before cooking them because when each piece of chicken is of different size they will cook at an even rate next i seasoned my chicken breasts with salt and black pepper both sides the rest of the ingredients that you'll need i'm using one egg i went ahead to add a little bit of milk Next, it's time to season our flour. I have about a quarter cup of flour. I'm adding one teaspoon of salt, three quarter teaspoon of black pepper, about a teaspoon of garlic powder. If you don't have garlic powder, you can always mince your garlic and add it in your egg wash. Also going to add a teaspoon of paprika. Go ahead to mix everything together. It is also very important that we season our breadcrumbs so I'm adding about three quarter teaspoon of thyme and I'm going to add just a pinch of salt remember we have salt in our flour and salt in our chicken breast so not too much salt a little bit of black pepper and you could also add some oregano goes perfectly well with chicken breast and just go ahead and mix everything together next I will be coating the chicken breast lightly with the flour Next, dip it in the egg wash and let the excess off. Once that is done, put it in your breadcrumbs and cover it well. You want that nice crispy coating. If you want the process to be a little bit neater, you can use one hand for the flour and egg wash and the other hand for the breadcrumbs. Once that is done, add some oil in your pan. I'm using sunflower oil. You can use olive oil as well. Once the oil is hot enough, go ahead to add in your chicken breast. Since the slices of the chicken were thin, they're going to cook perfectly and really fast. So cook one side until it's golden brown, then cook the other side as well. Once both sides are completely done and actually my chicken is very crispy on the top, your chicken is ready to serve. This breaded chicken breast was absolutely delicious, very moist and juicy on the inside and that crispy top. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Don't forget to squeeze some lemon juice as you enjoy it because it takes the flavor on another level. Don't forget to subscribe. Please turn on your post notification and share this recipe with your friends and family. Till next time. Bye-bye.